Good morning. Coming up on 69 News at Sunrise, yesterday's wintry mix turns into today's ice storm. We have live team coverage coming up. The same system that is causing problems for us has made an impression on other parts of the country. And a man from upstate New York has found a unique place to put all the extra snow that has fallen this season. That and more on this February 2nd, 2011. This is 69 News Live at Sunrise. Your life, your world, your news. 69 News Live at Sunrise starts now. Good morning, I'm Hasio Cordoba, along with Eve Tannery. It's 5.30 and we'll bring you more on today's top stories in a moment. First, the forecast. That's right, meteorologist Matt Broderick is standing by in the Weather Center. I'm glad you guys made it in this morning. We had to skate up the driveway a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. otherwise no problem. Yeah, not so bad. Good morning, guys. Yeah, definitely uh, talking about, at least in some locations, uh, slippery, ice-covered, whatever you want to call it. And temperatures actually uh, doing a little bit better here from the overnight period. We had 20s for a good portion of the overnight period in in the last couple of hours, we've seen temperatures actually reach the lower 30s, which is certainly good news. Freezing rain in the 30s is a lot better than freezing rain in the 20s as roads get road crews continue to get out there and treat some of these services. So we start out in the low 30s across the region. We will be talking about, uh, at least at certain points today, some of these temperatures getting above the freezing mark, and that should happen by the time we hit about mid-morning, late morning across the region. Ice storm warning does continue across the region. That runs until the afternoon hours. You can see everybody in the pink shaded areas under that ice storm warning uh, out toward uh, Schuylkill County. It's a winter storm warning and things are starting to expire towards South Jersey. Here's a good look at the radar. You can see some of that stuff moving in and it's been that pink shading pretty much the whole time. Although there are some snowflakes now mixing in. Mount Pocono reporting just snow and there have been reports of some snowflakes in and around the Lehigh Valley. You can see the back edge of precipitation out there in portions of uh, eastern Virginia down into Maryland. So it is going to be another few hours that we talk about just some on and off precipitation, mainly in the form of some freezing rain, rain, and some of that snow as it'll kind of move on through. You can see where the snow is falling just to the north. So a wintry mix and mess here during the morning hours. Freezing rain, rain, and a wintry mix will end this morning. Obviously, things are slippery. Anything untreated is pretty much uh, almost impossible to get around in. 35 is the high temperature. So things will start to improve later this morning and into the afternoon. All right, let's get a first check on our Wednesday morning, if we can call it a commute. Here's Rick Edwards in the traffic center. Hi, Rick. Hi there, Matt. Hi, everybody. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one today with slippery conditions everywhere you go. Uh, very slush in all the well-traveled uh, uh, side roads and city streets, and same on the highways. We're looking at uh, 22. Oh, I think this is Airport Road. Yeah, that's Airport Road by 22. There's 22. It's Shanersville Road. Uh, you can see wet travel lanes as, uh, you know, the major highways are treated. So we're going to have slushy conditions till the plows get moving. Uh, those on and off ramps, uh, treacherous, I think would be the word today. Very tough ride this morning. Allow extra travel time. Uh, going to Shots Road and Arrowhead Lane, we have traffic control officials there uh, more than likely because of slippery conditions. No reported accident. Uh, no crashes reported right now. Uh, nearly barren here on 33 at 248 as it is on 78 through the northern townships of Berks County. Uh, very scant traffic volume here past uh, Lenhartsville as you see some of the treatment vehicles uh, headed that way. Lower Heidelberg Township, we have a road closure now. Green Valley Road between Penn Avenue and Bittner Avenue. Uh, wires are down there in Lower Heidelberg Township and uh, bypasses around the city uh, still rather light but uh, they're going to be moving slow today folks so again extra caution extra travel time as you head out this morning that's your traffic brought to you by the State Theater in Easton call 1-800-999-STATE or visit statetheater.org Rick Edwards in the 69 News Traffic Center. All right, Rick, thanks so much. And as Rick mentioned, drivers in the region are starting to get used to hearing it, but the roads are slippery once again. And this time it is an ice storm that is causing the trouble for morning commuters. Let's continue our live team coverage of the storm with WFMZ's Bo Colt now. He's traveling in the 69 News Snow Patrol. Bo, good morning. Good morning, Eve and Hasiel. I'm on Hamilton Street right off of 12th here in Center City, Allentown, and uh, we're going to start driving here in a quick second, but I just got done speaking with a driver, and let's just say they're quite dedicated. He told me he's going to the gym, and he said the driving is pretty good, so we're going to check that out right now as I head here on Hamilton 
And if you guys can take a look at the road, it is very covered in slush. But walking around today, we've been driving around for the past 15 or 20 minutes just all over Allentown here. I think, at least right now, the streets look worse than they are. We haven't had any problems of skidding. We haven't had any problems of our wheels spinning. We really haven't had any trouble whatsoever. But again, if you guys can just take a look at the road, it is quite slushy. But as of yet, it doesn't appear to be too icy. And if you guys can see the windshield, I know Matt was just talking about it. We are getting some rain, but so far it doesn't appear that that has turned to a lot of ice. And I have seen a lot of plows on the road, and I've seen quite a few cars on the road this morning. But I think more of the trickier area, at least for me, because I walked probably four or five blocks early this morning, are the sidewalks. Those are not treated. Those are covered with ice. So if you are doing some walking today, if you're parking in Center City, no matter whether no matter, no matter, excuse me, whether it be Easton, Bethlehem, Allentown, if you're getting to work, do be careful of the sidewalks because you might be okay in the car, but then when you get out, you don't want to take that nasty spill. And guys, this happened to me just last week. I got out of my car, hit some black ice, fell head over heels. It was quite embarrassing, but I did have several people ask how I was doing. So you guys can see I'm stopped at a red light right now, and we're going to start going here in just a few seconds, but that's kind of what the roads are like, at least in Allentown right now. And throughout the morning, guys, we're going to start heading north into northern Lehigh County, up into maybe even Northampton County. So we'll see uh, what the roads are like there. But back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks, Bo. Thanks, Bo. The conditions are pretty treacherous in Berks County this morning as well. Yeah, let's check in with WFMZ's Pam Cunningham. She's joining us live now from the Crown Plaza in Wyomissing with a look at how things are going there. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Eve and Hasiel. Here in Berks County, people are going to be waking up to rain and ice, which we've been saying is happening all over the place. Now, I spoke to PennDOT in Berks County, and they say that the rain has been coming down. It's a uh, freezing rain, but it's been coming down lighter than they anticipated. So they're doing really well, they say, as far as keeping up with the major highways. So they're saying I-78 and 176 in Berks County are clear and wet, which is good news. Now, what we've experienced out here in the parking lot um, at the Crown Plaza is that the parts that are treated uh, are slush, and then the parts that are not treated are almost, there's a, a sheet of ice on top of it. Now, I did speak with the Berks Communication Center, and they said as far as accidents concerned overnight, there's only been a few minor accidents, nothing serious due to the weather. But um, as Rick was saying, as far as traffic is concerned, there are some down wires and a transformer in Reading blew out. But they said, again, nothing out of the ordinary or very serious to deal with. Um, and Barter, I also spoke to them, and they said for now their schedule is not being affected by the weather. But what is happening here is wind. There's also some wind. Um, we're standing here. I don't know if you can see, but there is a tree right here that is um, covered, just completely covered with ice. And once the wind blew, it snapped, uh, gave us quite a, a scare um, right before we come, came, you came to us. So uh, it is windy, it is icy, it is very slippery. I haven't been driving, but I have been walking, and you have to take those baby steps because, yeah, everything is just covered with ice, and then uh, even if it's been treated, the salt, it's just, there's a, it's slush. So um, both are very, very slippery when you're walking out there. So if you are going to be going out this morning, you're going to be confronting a car, like you take a look at our news car, a complete sheet of ice on top of it. So you're going to have to warm up, uh, break that off, uh, so if you are going outside, be careful when you're walking, and, and you're going to need extra time just to clean off your car and then when you're out on the roads. Reporting live and why I'm missing, Pam Cunningham, 69 News. All right. Thanks, Pam. Thank you, Pam. I can relate to that. I was shuffling along like Tim Conway yeah. in that Carol Burnett skit. Carefully, carefully, <laughs> yeah. Take some muscle to clean off those cars this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pam. The ice that is forming on the trees and power lines is causing some people to wake up without electricity this morning. PPL says more than 2,000 customers are without power, and MedEd is reporting more than 5,000 outages. MedEd officials say crews have been told to expect to work extended shifts to restore electricity to customers that lose power. Officials say even as little as a quarter of an inch of ice can cause outages. Ice accumulates on the lines. The sheer weight of it can actually pull lines down. Of course, cars sliding into poles is always a problem. Officials say ice on the trees can also cause problems because the weight of the ice can cause branches to snap and fall on power lines.
Well, the storm system that is creating a mess of things in our area this morning is making its mark in many other states as well. The storm is more than 2,000 miles wide, and it has brought snow and ice to more than two dozen states. Some areas in the Midwest are getting as much as two feet of snow, and forecasters say sub-zero temperatures will set in after the snow is finished. Thousands of people who thought they'd be traveling this week were forced to change their plans because of the storm. Nearly 6,000 flights throughout the country were canceled yesterday. This morning, Lehigh Valley and Philadelphia International Airports are both reporting major changes in flight schedules. Officials say anyone who is booked on a flight out of town today should check with their airline to see whether it's delayed or canceled. Officials with the Pennsylvania National Guard say 400 troops are on standby during the storm. Officials say the troops were told to sleep at their local armories last night so they could be ready to respond if called upon. About 125 of the troops are stationed in our area. Folks that are sick of snow and ice are hoping the most famous groundhog in Pennsylvania doesn't see a shadow this morning. Punxsutawney Phil will be emerging from his lair in a little while to give his annual prediction. If he sees a shadow, it means we have six more long weeks of winter. Phil is scheduled to come out of his hole at 725 this morning. A uh, big day for Punxsutawney Phil. Yeah, everybody will be watching mm -hmm. in, in between the ice <laughs> yeah. that's falling. Yeah, I know some people who are heading out there this morning for the big uh, Ooh, really? reveal. Brave, brave friends of mine. Mm. <laughs> that yeah. is pretty brave. Mm. Is that their first time word. going? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I didn't ask, but yeah. Good time. I'm sure they'll have a good crowd. Uh, there's oh, some there's, diehards. Does, nothing stops those people. Mm -hmm. There really doesn't. All right, we'll see what Phil says in a little bit here. We are seeing temperatures, guys, that are in the low and the middle 30s. Now, there is some good news across the region, at least in some parts of the area. 34 now in Reading, 34 in Philly, 32 Trenton. We're below freezing from the valley north, possible 31. Harrisburg and York right around the freezing mark. But freezing rain, rain a lot better in the 30s than it is in the 20s. And, of course, as crews continue to get out there and treat the roads, things will start to improve over the next several hours later this morning and right through the afternoon hours. For now, again, anything left untreated. And, boy, some of those back roads are pretty brutal. So uh, just be careful. If you need to go out, be very careful. Freezing rain and kind of a wintry mix. 40 today in New York. Precipitation should last into the afternoon hours before coming to an end. For most of our particular region... I think a lot of this stuff is over with this morning as it starts to pull away. Check this out in Philly, 44, the afternoon high temperature, some rain, a little bit of snow being reported down closer to Philly as well. That all ends here during the morning hours. And again, things start to improve later this morning and into the afternoon hour. So at least that's good news as the system will start to taper off. It's been an impressive one from Chicago all the way to Detroit and up into portions of New England, Boston with blizzard-like conditions. And now things really starting to wind down. Wouldn't be terribly shocking to see at least a few breaks of sunshine today uh, during the afternoon hours. Boy, that would be nice to just see some of that for sure. We can hope that we can see just a little bit of a break here and there. You can see this is kind of the back edge across portions of northern and eastern Virginia into Maryland. All of this swinging up toward the north and the east. Now, we've got all types of precipitation. Rain south, freezing rain in the central parts of the area with even some sleet pellets, ice pellets, and then we've got snow a little bit farther to the north. Over the Poconos, even up over the slate belt area, some reports of snowflakes. North Jersey as well. It is all snow farther to the north. So we've got all types of precipitation. I do think the next several hours we're still going to have to deal with some of this, so let's just be aware of that, that it is still tricky. Again, if you need to go anywhere, allow yourself extra time just to clean off your car. Uh, any untreated surfaces are just going to be iced over here during the morning. Again, there's the good news at Reading at 34. Lehigh Valley still sitting in the lower 30s. But some of this stuff continues to move on through. It'll come down light to perhaps moderate at certain times through the morning hours, and then things will start to improve after 11, noon, 1 o'clock. I think things will begin to kind of taper off a little bit. So freezing rain, rain in a wintry mix ends this morning. Icy and slippery travel for sure. We've got a a lot of ice-covered trees, power lines, anything that's untreated, obviously. And, of course, the weight on the trees and power lines may bring some of those down. And that's a, certainly a concern in any storm like this. Low pressure continues to move away toward the north and the east. We'll start to clear things out a little bit tonight. Anything left wet or slushy, of course, on the roads tonight, there'll be an opportunity for some icy spots to develop. Next system we watch comes out of the south and up the coast on Saturday. Here's your forecast. Freezing rain, rain, and a wintry mix ends this morning. 
Slippery, of course, on anything untreated, walking or driving. 35 degrees, winds becoming west at 6 to 12. Wind gusting a little bit right now, up to about 20 in some areas. For tonight, partly cloudy, brisk and cold. Some icy spots develop. 18 is the overnight low. Breezy tomorrow for Thursday, partly sunny and cold at uh, 29. But look at the low, 6 for tomorrow night. So a cold start Friday, partly sunny Friday and 31. Rain, snow, ice, all a possibility with another coastal storm on Saturday. Haciel and Eve, back over to you. All right, thanks, Matt. And stay tuned. More team coverage of the winter storm is up next. Slip slide and away. Slip slide and away. You know the near your destination, the more your slip slide and way. Kellyriskfree.com has the well, drivers in the Lehigh Valley are gearing up for yet another slippery ride this morning thanks to the latest winter storm. We continue our live team coverage now with meteorologist Mark Shannonberger. He's standing by live at the Perkins on MacArthur Road in Whitehall. Mark, I think it's funny that you're always by a restaurant. Yeah, mm. good, good spot. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you're smart. <laughs> you're smart. Right, yeah. We always uh, got to pick up breakfast at some point this morning, and I'm sure me and DR will... Uh, We'll be in there a couple times, maybe yeah, grabbing I'm a cup sure. of coffee or whatever. Okay. We'll have to be but, uh, extra nice to you so we get a to-go box. Our news director really likes me, so that's that. Uh, he always gives me these prime locations. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> that's good to know. Location, there, location, right? location, location. Yeah. Um, as far as the conditions out here in Whitehall, we're, uh, we're seeing wet, slushy roadways uh, here in Whitehall. So uh, that is... Uh, and that's the situation. It's not too bad. We're seeing cars moving along at a slower pace, but they're still moving along, and, and we haven't seen any sliding thus far this morning. As far as the cars go, it's the same situation as you heard from Pam with uh, a couple of minutes to scrape off your car, maybe a little bit extra time than uh, what you normally would because that, that ice is really on there. But I would say in the last half hour or so, we have seen some change changes in the weather, and that is uh, that when we first got up this morning, we were scraping off our own cars. There wasn't a whole lot uh, to be dealt with as far as the precipitation goes. Since then, it has picked up. We're seeing a steadier rain at this point, and I feel like the temperatures has has uh, come up in the last half hour or so because uh, things don't seem to be freezing like they once were. So we'll keep an eye on the situation here in Whitehall, but that's what we're dealing with. It's just slushy uh, roadways that, for the most part, just look wet at this point. Um, and we're also seeing uh, that the rain's continuing to fall. And it's, uh, it's been in and on and off uh, over the last half hour, coming down at a pretty good clip at times and at other times not coming down at all. So uh, I think that's the way that it's going to stay for the rest of the morning, as Matt was mentioning. So uh, we'll just keep on monitoring the situation here in Whitehall. But that's what we're dealing with right now. Back inside to you guys. Okay. Thank Thanks, you, Mark. Mark. Yep time now to take a look at how things are moving in the rest of the region. That's right. WFMZ's Rick Edwards is Mose, who is standing by live. Good morning, Jocelyn. How are things there? Good morning, Eve and Hasia. We seem to have hit a lull in the rain right now. It's not really doing much of anything. It was coming down at a pretty good clip a little bit earlier. We are in Easton Center Square, and all morning long we have seen the snow plows and salt trucks come through here treating the roadways. This is Northampton Street. You can see it's a little bit slushy and pretty wet. Um, any snow that was left on the road from yesterday morning's storm is really helping drivers out this morning, giving that extra traction on the road. So that is helping drivers out. Now the roads are a little bit slick in spots, so you do want to take your time. Um, I, I know my photographer Spin had mentioned on his way to our live shot location this morning, going around the curves, even going at, a, at a, a slow rate of speed, you were still slipping as you made those turns. So you do want to take your time out there on the roads this morning. But here in Easton Center Square, again, a little bit slushy, a little bit snow covered and pretty wet. Uh, so do take your time out on the roads this morning. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Jocelyn, thanks so much. Yeah, hard to take.